it is your question. So if you have read and understood, come sit and get history taking station. Kindly please begin. All right. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Uh, my name is Dr. Malik. I'm one of the surgical doctors here in the clinic. May I confirm your name and age, please? I'm Smith, 50 years old. Okay. Nice to meet you, Smith. Uh, Smith, uh, I'm here to take uh, history from you and ask you a few questions in order to get to the bottom of your problem. Is that all right? Yes. All right. So, uh, can you please tell me what seems to be the problem to you today? I don't know. From last few weeks, I'm just getting shortness of breath. It's like it has become too much discomfort uh, in my chest and I can't even rest. It becomes too much. I'm, I'm so sorry that you've been feeling the, that. That way, so uh, can you tell me, please, a bit more about that? When when did it start? Um, uh, I'm already I'm of I've already chest problems, but mm. then uh, all of a sudden I take medications for that, mm. but mm. then all of a sudden from last four weeks it has become worse. It's like I can't I cannot even sit. It's becoming mm. too much. Mm. And what kind of, of difficulty are you experiencing? Is it shortness of breath or it is a chest tightness or? Uh, yes, it's shortness of breath. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry that you're feeling that way. And uh, have you noticed anything increasing it, Smith? Uh, no, it's all my activities, everything, it makes it worse. Mm -hmm. And it being, it being increasingly uh, it bad. has become, yes, it has become worse. Increasingly bad. So uh, have you noticed any uh, chest pain in association with this symptom? Uh, not exactly, but it becomes too much painful and it becomes too much discomfortable that I cannot uh, appreciate if it's pain or just a shortness of breath. Okay, all right. And uh, how do you cope with the stairs? Uh, I can't. Uh, it becomes too worse. Mm -hmm. And uh, for how long you can go before the, the shortness of breath and chest tightness stops you? Uh, at the moment, even at rest, I'm having it. So I cannot even walk. It's really worse. Uh, Have you experiencing uh, any recent temperature? Uh, no, not that I've realized. No. Any cough? Uh, not exactly, just a cough problem I have already. I'm allergic, but uh, not that much, not worse. Okay, and now, uh, have you noticed your heart sometimes pacing more than... No. Okay, and do you have any uh, leg swelling or leg pains recently? And no, not out of routine, no. Okay, you told me you, you have uh, such as uh, just discomfort yes okay can you please tell me the site of that one it's just in the center of the chest below yeah. my chest bone yes and does it relate to any uh any position so uh, when you yes to... when i'm moving around or trying to do any activity it becomes worse okay. and your shortness of breath have you uh, noticed that increases when you take a deep breath yes Certainly. Mm -hmm. When I take the breath in, it becomes worse. And and how does it look like? Is it a stabbing or tearing or? Yes, kind? it's tearing kind of. All right. So sorry for that. And do you have any night sweats recently? 
Uh, no, not out of the routine. Okay, any headaches? No. I'm feeling faint? Uh, that I do. Uh, I'm feeling weak um, and I've lost my little appetite as well. Don't feel like eating. Okay, any loss of weight? Uh, no, not that I've noticed. Okay, night is wet. No. All right. Okay, so just a couple of questions regarding your general health, if you wouldn't mind. So how is your health been recently? It's getting bad, bad uh, mm. from last few months. Mm. And you've told me you have uh, a pre-existing chest, uh, sorry, chest problems. So yes. what kind of problem? Yes. What kind of it? Uh, I'm long time diagnosed with uh, COPD, cardiopulmonary mm. distress EF. Yeah. Condition okay. and then uh, I've even been uh, had uh, the condition they call pulmonary embolism for which I was given uh, some medication, but that happened five months ago. Five months ago, and and how is the COPD controlled with uh, medications? They, yes, they give me inhalers. Uh, would you please remind me the medications or you can't recall it right now? No, I can't recall. They, mm -hmm. It's just some inhalers with steroids. Okay. And regarding the blood clots in your lungs, so yes. do you have, are you in any medication right now? Yes, I took warfarin, but not anymore, not taking any medication now. Right. Are you allergic to anything else? No, any no. Okay, and other than that, you consider yourself healthy and well? Yes. All right. Do you have any family history of note? No, not that I know. And with whom do you live? Uh, uh I'm divorced. I live alone. Right. My wife left. Okay. And and uh, how do you cope with this? Oh, it's really difficult to cope. All right. No okay. problem. Do you Can have you any friends? Please friend summarize group? your history taking now. Yeah, I've got here, Mister Ethmish. 45 years old, sorry, uh, 50 years old, who presented with uh, a pre-existing uh, cardiopulmonary uh, uh, car uh, uh, <laughs> COPD, long-standing COPD and pulmonary embolism. He presented with shortness of breath and chest tightness for the uh, recent four weeks. Uh, uh, it is not associated with uh, any hemoptysis or uh, weight loss or night sweats. There is no recent temperature. Okay. Right. So what is your provisional and differential diagnosis? My provisional diagnosis for Mr. Smith is uh, uh, it's accelerating of COPD. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I would consider also uh, myocardial infarction and maybe a recurrent pulmonary embolism. Okay, and pneumonia also. And pneumonia. How do you plan to manage this patient? First of all, I'm going to uh, examine my patient, examine his uh, respiratory system, cardiovascular system. Yes. Okay, after that, I would like to consider uh, uh, base, uh, blood, baseline bloods, including yes. the ABG and chest X-ray and ECG. Yes. Okay, I would like to go for a pulmonary function test and peak flow, flowmetry. Yes. Okay, I would like also to consider uh, uh, doing the uh, spirometry. Yes. Okay, and, and uh, to rule out yes, pulmonary embolism. What treatment can you suggest for him? Uh, with the, uh, I should first of all contact my uh, medical uh, department, my medical colleagues in the in the medical department regarding their uh asking for their uh, advice for this patient because he's he's a known COPD patient okay and uh, I would like to uh, add oxygen now for the meantime I would like to shift my patient to the A and E and commence oxygen and uh, salbutamol okay and uh, after that for the long term we we should have the medical input for this patient all right thank you okay uh right when you were asking about uh in this case uh if you'll consider this in exam it's considered as pulmonary embolism just pain right. right so uh you asked me about the site you asked me about the onset mm -hmm. and you even asked me about the character one thing that you forgot was the radiation 
because in this one uh, you are asking about the pain and the shortness mm -hmm. of breath. So with re regard to pain, you have to ask if the pain radiates anywhere. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, with bre uh, breathlessness, you asked ortho orthopnea. You asked nocturnal orthodysnea. You asked cough. You asked constitutional. Uh, yes, you asked me about the weight loss. I told you myself about the appetite. Uh, any musculo musculoskeletal pain because you did ask me how how do I manage myself on the stairs. Mm -hmm. So yes, uh, timings you asked exacerbating factors you asked. Mm -hmm. So most of the questions uh, you covered, one thing with regard to pain, in order mm -hmm. to uh, assess the severity, you could ask on the scale of uh, 1 to 10. Okay. How bad is your pain? Okay. And uh, this, you, this, this you could have asked, right? And then yep. in uh, treatment, uh, man, in investigation, you asked all the, uh, you answered all the correct investigations for treatment, for management. You, your first question, uh, first answer should be that you'll manage the patient according to ABC protocol because if it's pulmonary embolism, it's an emergency. You cannot sit and wait and refer to the medical unit and then wait. Patient might expire because okay. here, especially when patient is giving you history that before patient was diagnosed five months ago with intermittent pulmonary embolism, Mm -hmm. and warfarin was given so you can't just sit and wait so your first answer should be that you'll manage the patient according to abc protocol and then last time patient was given warfarin this time how would you take care of patients and mm -hmm. that's that is one question you have to tell because if you'll give warfarin again it's a medication uh, tablet it takes time to set in and uh, take action so what would you give? You'll give heparin. Yeah, but well, yeah, I, I think uh, my my heaviest part was this patient. Uh, uh, my concentration was on the COP, COP yes. yes, I, but I yes, in uh, because if it's even if it's COPD, patient mm -hmm. has had this uh, complication before, mm -hmm. and it's but, mentioned. So you have to keep this in your mind. That this yeah. is again uh, pulmonary embolism. Then you, then what they can ask you to mm. define uh, because it says intermediate pulmonary embolism. So you, you, they can ask you what is the difference between massive pulmonary embolism or mm. uh, non-massive intermittent. So then you would have to tell what is the difference, and if it's massive, mm. what should be the management in that case. Because previously, intermittent mm. intermittent attack has occurred. This time, even a massive attack can occur. But how would you manage the massive attack? Okay. Through thrombolysis and embolectomy. So that is the major thing that you have to do. And you have to assess at that mm. time. And you have to do the APTT. According to APTT, you have to give the heparin. To the oh. So treatment oh. was wrong. You lost one mark for that. Okay. And, um, Maybe, yes, in this taking one mark, they'll detect because you didn't ask the severity and no. the radiation. Uh, rest, okay. you covered everything. Okay. Thank you. Good, thank you.